I am Adam and these are 10 tips for live music slash concert photography. Number one is don't just shoot the singer. I feel starting out a lot of people will just go straight to the vocalist and just focus on them for the set. Obviously if you're shooting like Beyonce or someone like that, you will just focus on her. This is this point's mainly for bands as there are multiple members and all of the members want individual photos. Make sure you get photos of the drummer because everyone seems to neglect them. Number two is wear earplugs. I didn't for the first year and I'm I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it now. Uh, my hearing's getting worse and I'm probably gonna be deaf in 10 years. They don't have to be expensive. They can just be the cheap foam ones that even some venues just give them out. Just kind of get them and just plug those holes. Number three is high shutter speed. The higher the shutter speed, there'll be less motion blur. So if you want it to capture a nice, crisp, clean photo, make sure your shutter speed is as high as possible. But don't raise your shutter speed so high you have to raise your ISO because then you'll introduce grain and then you've got more problems. This isn't a rule. If you want in blurrier, kind of more moodier photos with blur and movement, a lot of motion blur, do that. You know, I'm not telling you what to do. You can do what you want. I'm not your dad. Number four is burst shoot on impact bits. Um, so basically, if a chorus is about to come in or the song's about to drop, a lot of artists will have choreographed moves for that point in a song. Um, if you're on tour with a band or an artist, you'll probably learn these moves throughout the tour so you know when you can get certain photos. But if you know the song or can kind of sense an impact bit's coming up, put your camera on burst and just kind of spray when that impact happens. So you might get a cool spin or a kick or they might just stand still, but it's kind of worth a shot. That was a, that was a little pun I just slid in there. Number five is be nice to other photographers in the pit. It's not a competition. Um, I've encountered quite a few photographers who are just a bit rude and a bit pushy or kind of push past you. But just don't be that person. Just be nice to everyone. If you can see someone shooting and don't just walk across the lens. Be nice to everyone in the pit because you're all there doing the same job and you're not better than them. So just don't be that person. Talk to them in changeovers, share Instagrams. You're all in the same community, so just make some friends. I don't know. Number six, this is a follow-on point from number five. Watch what's going on around you, especially if you're at a high energy show and there's kind of fans coming over the barrier and the security are having to catch people. Make sure you're not in the security's way so they can do their job and nobody gets hurt. Number seven is shoot from the crowd for a bit. If you've got a normal photo pass after the first three songs, you don't just have to put your camera away. Um, go out into the crowd, go to the back of the room, push yourself a little bit. Make, make the selection of photos you get a bit diverse so they're not just all from the photo bit. Number eight is change up your composition. This one's for beginners really, but I feel like Everyone just kind of goes for the mid shot when they're starting out um, and it'll just be kind of that and that's it. But kind of change it up. You want to get something wider, you want to get something a little tighter. Do portrait, do landscape, just get a variety of different things. Also a top tip, try keep limbs and instruments in the frame. It just feels a lot more natural and looks better if kind of everything's kept within a frame and someone's arm isn't just cut off or the head of a guitar is just chopped in half. So try keep everything contained within a frame. Number nine is try some video. Even if it's just like a clip or a little loop or something, anything. The reality is if you're just starting out and you're wanting to kind of tour with bands, they're gonna want photos and they're gonna want video as well. Because if they're a smaller band, they won't have the budget to hire a videographer and a photographer 
they're gonna want one person to do it all. So just play about with video, it doesn't have to be much. This also adds quite a lot of value to your work because other people who are not doing this gives you an advantage over them and the band will appreciate it more. Number 10 is super kind of cliche advice, but just enjoy yourself and have fun. You're there because you want to do it, not because someone's making you do it. And try not to stress too much about results. I catch myself stressing during the show, like I haven't got anything good, what am I gonna do? But 99% of the time it's fine. It doesn't matter. So just enjoy yourself. I hope you got some value from this video and hopefully you apply some of these when you're next shooting a show. If you like this video, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, um, as I'm gonna be posting regular videos from now on. Also, follow me on Instagram. Oh, don't. <laughs>